felt you're thinking about getting a Nintendo Switch or a Steam Deck, but you just can't choose? Well, this video will be perfect for you. Hi, hello, my name is Kat, and welcome to the coziest corner of the internet. Today, we are talking all things Nintendo Switch versus the Valve Steam Deck. We're gonna do a deep dive into both consoles and which ones I think you should get coming from the perspective of a cozy gamer. I've had my Steam Deck now for about five months and I have been so enjoying having an extra handheld option. However, I have been a Nintendo fan pretty much my entire life and my Nintendo Switch has been attached at my hip since its release in 2017. So which one would I recommend and what are the differences? Our criteria today will be pretty simple. We are going to compare and contrast portability, dockability, quality, aesthetics, game libraries, online play, and finally, price. Hopefully this will give you a good idea of the differences between the two and which one would be better for you. Finally, at the end, I'll talk a little bit about my experience and my personal opinion after playing both of them for the last five months, and which I think is better for different types of gamers. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to the video. To kick off, let's talk about portability. So it's no surprise that the Steam Deck is bigger and heavier. Compared to the original Switch, you can see right away how much bigger it is. However, I will say that it feels a bit more natural to hold the Steam Deck, and I think the back roundedness is really the reason for that. Although it's quite thin in the middle, it has some really good grips for your hands that kind of feels like you're carrying like a normal controller. The screen size is also about the same as the OLED, but it will still look bigger um, compared to the OLED. I will say just from an experience, it plays quite well handheld. I usually play it while I'm sitting down though with it rested in my lap just because of how heavy it is compared to the Switch. Obviously with the Switch you also have the Switch Lite experience which will be probably the best in terms of portability. It'll be much more similar to past handheld consoles like the PS Vita or the Nintendo DS etc. It'll be much smaller and much lighter and most likely better for if you're traveling a lot or you play on the go. I will say the Steam Deck also comes with a carrying case unlike the Nintendo Nintendo Switch, which is quite bulky but does fit everything you kind of need in it. <laughs> it's quite protective and it was a nice little addition to get on release. A big thing when it comes to portability is obviously storage space on the console. The base storage bases available for the Steam Deck are larger than the best model of a Switch. So the lowest you can get on a Steam Deck is the same as the Nintendo Switch OLED. For extra money, you can also get two higher versions that have more storage space, but I will say both the Nintendo Switch and Steam Deck also come with SD slots, so you can add extra storage space quite easily on both, which is getting a bigger SD card. The one thing to note though is the Switch obviously has the option for game cartridges, that the Steam Deck does not. So if you're the kind of person who has a lot of physical games or you prefer to have physical games, Switch might be the option for you because there will be no option for that on Steam Deck. You'll have to rely entirely on storage space on the console or on your SD card. When it comes to managing storage on the two devices, I do find the Steam Deck just a little bit more intuitive. It's really quite easy to move games from your main storage space to your SD card, delete games, archive them. It's really simple. The Switch is good with archiving. I just find that the switching games from an SD card to the main console a bit confusing and you have to go through a lot more steps than you do on Steam Deck. But overall, the differences in storage management are negligible. Okay, next let's talk about dockability. So as we most, all of us know, the Switch itself comes with its classic dock, which you just put your Switch in the top. The Steam Deck, on the other hand, did not come with a dock on release, but they have just released one available for purchase as an accessory. I bought it, so you guys don't have to. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's quite small, and you can see compared to the Switch how much smaller <laughs> it is, and it works a bit differently than the Switch dock. For this one, you just place it in its stand, and you actually plug this into the top, where your charger would normally go. There are several ports in the back, including an ethernet port, which the Switch uh, original dock does not have, only the OLED does, so that's a really cool improvement. And then it also comes with not only the HDMI, but the DVI port as well. I've been using this for quite a while to play Steam Deck games on my TV. It's quite great, I like it a lot, it works really well, I haven't had much issue with it. My only gripe really is connecting controllers can be a bit difficult. I'm a PlayStation gamer, so this might be something specific to me. I don't own any Xbox controllers, and I've heard that Xbox controllers can be slightly easier to connect to Steam 
then PlayStation ones. However, I do find it's just like never really connects the way I want it to. It takes a while versus the Switch where you can just plug in your controller and it like connects right away. It's just like a little bit longer and that's the only gripe I have with it really. In terms of like style and size, despite the fact that the Switch one is much, much bigger <laughs> than the smaller one, I do think that this looks like more aesthetically pleasing um, in my opinion with the kind of joy cons on each side whereas this just ends up looking really bulky when you put the steam deck on it like it's not something i'd want on display as much but in terms of just dockability it works really well and i wish it had come with the steam deck originally but it's cool that they have one now the great thing about this is also it's easy to find third-party options of this on amazon as well if you want like a different aesthetic um, or something different in terms of like backports and things okay let's talk quality I am not an expert in this area, so I'm just giving you kind of the base stats, what I've noticed specifically. Keep in mind, I mainly play indie games, cozy games. I'm not really playing anything super graphically heavy, but this is what I've thought about it so far. The Steam Deck has a max resolution of 1280 by 800 versus the Switch's 1280 by 720. So there's not much of a difference there. The major difference in terms of just base quality, Steam Deck will have options depending on the game of how many frames per second you can use. Generally, I will say I haven't played a whole lot of intense graphical games on Steam Deck. It's really only Horizon Zero Dawn that I've played, but I will say it performs best at 30 frames per second. When I increase it to 60 frames, it starts to kind of glitch a little bit. I did, however, buy the base model of the Steam Deck, if that makes any difference to you. As you already have noticed earlier when I showed you both consoles, the Steam Deck screen is bigger than than the base Switch. It is, however, the same size as the Nintendo Switch OLED, which makes it two inches bigger than the base Switch. I think the best part of the Steam Deck versus Switch in terms of quality is the fact that you're playing PC games, which will have a lot of options for changing the quality settings throughout. Turning on and off vSync, changing frames per second, there's just so many more options that you can use on a Steam Deck and PC games than you'll ever get in a Switch game. In terms of performance, the RAM capabilities of the Steam Deck is also much better than the Switch. It has quadruple that of the Switch, so you will just find that more intense games will run better on Steam Deck, which I don't think will be a surprise to anyone. The processor is also better on Steam Deck than Switch. This is why you can run games like Horizon Zero Dawn, The Witcher 3, Elden Ring, any PC game you're interested in will run perfectly well on Steam Deck. You might have some issues, you're not gonna get the crispy 4K that you might playing it on PlayStation or Xbox or on your PC, but you will get fairly good graphics and definitely better than the Nintendo Switch. Okay, let's move on to aesthetics. This might be a controversial one, but just know that it's important to me and probably me alone. <laughs> but I do take aesthetic photos for my Instagram and that's a large part of my business. So making sure that my gaming accessories are both aesthetic and pleasing to the eye are important to me. It also just helps me kind of feel more attached to a system in a weird way. For me, I like having, you know, the modded controllers, the pink skins for my consoles. It's just part of how I like to be a gamer. But if it's not important to you, feel free to skip this section. I think overall, one of the things I love the most about the Switch though, is its ability to be customized to your aesthetic, to your color palette, to the way that you like to game. As you'll be fairly familiar with, I have lots of different modded Joy-Cons and custom Joy-Cons from Nintendo that really just make me love my Switch. Even if I kind of get bored of the way it looks, I can customize it, change out the Joy-Cons, change out the thumb grips and make it completely new. At the moment, because the Steam Deck is so new, there just aren't those types of options for customizing them. I do expect that this might change in the future as people are more familiar with the Steam Deck and Etsy sellers and Amazon sellers continue to explore skins and modding options and maybe in the future we might even get a white steam deck which I think would be a really good choice but at the moment the only way that I've customized it is adding my custom thumb grips this is fine for me for now I have thought of my options. I do have a case that I use occasionally as well if I'm taking it on the go. You can buy quite a few different skins and there's some really cozy options over on Etsy. Personally, I hate putting skins on my controllers and on my consoles. I think it just doesn't feel very nice and I play handheld a lot and I just feel like it ends up peeling. I'm kind of the type of person who will start picking something off if I can. So I am choosing not to put any skins on this and hopefully just gonna wait out until there's some cuter colors for cases in the future. But for now, that's the only option to me and that does kind of make me sad. <laughs> I think the black looks fine and the fact that it's matte 
does help when taking photos and things, but it's something to consider if you're looking for a console that you can kind of customize as much as you can with the Switch. The Steam Deck just isn't that yet. Okay, let's move on to game libraries. So the obvious winner here is going to be the Steam Deck because you have over 4,000 verified games on Steam that you can purchase for this console. That's already a lot more than Nintendo Switch, but it doesn't even include the ones that aren't verified. Personally, I've had zero problem playing unverified Steam Deck games. The way that the Steam Deck works is it will kind of guess at the kind of controls you want, even if the developer hasn't allowed for controller support yet. If a game has controller support though, you'll be fine. It'll work the exact same way as you would if you just plugged in a controller into your computer. It just might mean that they haven't gotten around to doing the Steam Deck verification process yet. But overall, because you have things like the trackpads and they really help for games that require like a mouse and clicking. There's all sorts of like button presses to get like keyboards up that are really easy to use. You honestly don't need it to be Steam Deck verified to play, which just opens a whole new world of games to play. The other benefit of the Steam Deck in terms of game libraries is you can mod your games on Steam Deck really easily, adding all sorts of extra content, and you can even get access to things like Game Pass, which Microsoft has a guide on how to do officially on their website. So does that mean that if you want a lot of games, you should go with Steam Deck? Not necessarily. <laughs> For me, the reason I could like never give up my Switch is because of the Nintendo exclusives. Nintendo IPs like The Legend of Zelda, Mario games, Kirby games, Animal Crossing, I just could not live without and I can't imagine not having the latest Nintendo console to play them. Obviously, that's capitalism for you, but if you're a huge Nintendo IP fan, if you love your Zelda games, if you love your Animal Crossing games, it would seem remiss not to have the Nintendo Switch, which has some of the best games for their main IPs. So keep that in mind. If you're the kind of person who doesn't really play Nintendo IPs, you can probably get away with not having the Nintendo Switch. If you prefer to play shooters and more intense games that the Nintendo Switch just can't really handle, a Steam Deck might be better. But if you wanna play these Nintendo exclusives, you're going to need a Nintendo console to do it. Okay, next, let's talk a little bit about online play. To play online with friends, no matter the game, on Nintendo Switch, you need to pay for the Nintendo Online subscription. This means you have to pay a monthly fee to be able to play multiplayer with your friends online. As you probably could have guessed, that is not true for the Steam Deck. So if you are an online multiplayer player, Steam Deck might be the choice for you because you will be saving a monthly subscription service. The dock having the ethernet cable for the base model is also really useful for playing online games that require better internet. Obviously, if you have the OLED, that won't be a problem for you. The thing that both of these systems have a problem with is neither of them has the option to voice chat over like something like Discord available on the console. I think if Steam Deck added Discord support, it would far surpass the Switch in terms of online play because then you could just chat with your friends all on one console and not have to hook up a PC at all. We'll see if that's something they have in the future, but I will say that Nintendo Switch does have an iPhone app you can use to talk online, but it doesn't work that great. So it's not competing at all with things like Discord or things like Xbox and PlayStation have it inbuilt into their systems. There is the benefit that some PC games already have that embedded into it, so you might be able to use voice chat through the game on Steam Deck where you wouldn't be able to on Nintendo Switch. Anyways, finally, the last point of this video, let's talk very quickly about price. The base model of the Steam Deck comes out to 300 99 US dollars. The highest model with the extra storage space and the nicer screen comes out to 650 US dollars. This compares to the Switch Lite being $200, the regular Switch being $300, and the Switch OLED being $350. Right off the bat, you can tell the Switch much, much cheaper, even for its best model. Not even to mention that if you want to dock your Steam Deck, you'll need to buy an additional dock, which comes out to $89 for the Valve version of it. So just on price alone, the Nintendo Switch will be the better option if you're looking for maybe your first gaming console or you're just looking for a cheaper alternative at the moment, you'll definitely wanna check out the Switch first. It's also much easier to find the Switch used, secondhand, from a friend, because it's been out for a long time. Whereas the Steam Deck, really the only place you can buy them right now is from the Steam page. There are some now floating around on Facebook Marketplace, but they're mainly jacked up in price. So I'd suggest waiting a little bit and seeing if the price comes down, if more of them appear in used tech stores down the line. Okay, so that's it for our main points, but which one do I think you should get? I think the skinny of it is if you are a casual gamer, if you are looking for a cheaper option, or you are a huge Nintendo IP fan, 
get the Nintendo Switch. However, if you are more into intense games, if you have been a PC gamer for a long time, maybe you're more into PlayStation or Xbox games, maybe you really love indie games, but you never really play big studio games at all. With the Steam Deck, you'll get access to more indie games than you would on Nintendo Switch, as well as all the other indie games available on Switch. Steam has a huge library and it's always where games go first in alpha and early access versions. So you'll also get access to those games before people who are focused on Switch releases. Plus with the option of things like Game Pass capabilities, it really opens the world to cozy games you might otherwise just not get to play. At the end of the day, it's really going to depend on what kind of gamer you are and what kinds of games you prefer to play. Personally, I find myself playing both of them pretty much equally for different reasons. When there's a big Nintendo IP coming out, I always reach for my Nintendo Switch, obviously. I play Breath of the Wild nearly full time over on Twitch, so I'm obviously going to be playing that a lot. The one thing that really surprised me though, and I'm glad it turned out this way, was I reach for my Steam Deck much more often if I have to choose whether or not to get a game on Switch or Steam Deck, I always choose Steam Deck. This is just because I can pop between playing on PC if I'm streaming it or recording footage for YouTube, but then also continue it on my Steam Deck later on with the Steam Cloud Save. It also gives me like a little bit more option in terms of getting sales. I also can play around with the graphics settings to make it work better. There's just a lot more perks to getting a game on Steam Deck rather than on Nintendo Switch. Recently, the capabilities to be able to mod Stardew Valley on Steam Deck has also changed the game for me. <laughs> I think it's one of the big pluses if you are a huge Stardew Valley fan, you've always wanted to play modded versions but don't have a PC capable of it, a Steam Deck might be a really good purchase for you. Because not only will you get access to millions of more amazing indie games, but you'll also get access to these extra things that only PC gamers have had before. If I wasn't a streamer, honestly, I would most likely sell my PC and just have a Steam Deck because you really don't need a gaming PC if you have the Steam Deck, especially now that it can be docked. But again, it's completely up to you. I would love to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments, which one you think has been better for you, which one you think you might get. If you have any questions, feel free, put them in the comments. I'll be answering all of them. And if you've enjoyed today's video and you want to hear more of my thoughts on games, make sure you're following me over on Instagram at CozyGamerCat. I do game reviews for both Nintendo Switch and Steam Deck every single week, so make sure you go check them out to find new games that you might want to play. Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you had the coziest day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!